All right, guys, well, I'm finally uh, going to get some trout fishing and some good trout fishing. So uh, we'll see how that goes, and uh, hopefully we get some trout for dinner. All right. All right, guys. Well, finally, I got a fish on a fly pole. It's uh, big enough to keep, big enough to eat. So I am going to eat that fish. All right. Well, I'm going to put this one uh, in the live fish basket. If I catch a bigger one, I'll put this one back in the water. But I'm going to put him in the, uh, the crawdad trap, which I use for a fish basket. But, all right. Well, uh, all right, let's keep fishing. All right, well, so we got our fish here, and uh, I'm going to clean it up, and that's what we're going to have for dinner, so I'll show you what I'm going to do with this trout. I'm probably going to um, cook it in water, kind of like a, a soup, and you get the most vitamins that way, and I don't mind eating it like that. I like it on the fire, but I'm going to go ahead and put it in a pot and uh, make a little soup with it. So same, I'm going to start by... Getting all these scales off. And if some of these scales stay on, it's not near as bad as the crappie or bass or those type of fish. These are real small scales, so they won't they won't be so bad. Come from underneath. Slice right up through here. And then uh, this slice this little thing there. And take the gills out. Like so. And out come the guts. And I'm going to save these and I'll put them in my uh, crawdad pot tomorrow. And uh, then I'll have some pretty good crawdad bait. Um, so I'm going to cut this fish in half actually so it'll fit. That's some nice, nice pink meat there. All right. Okay, so I'm just going to put this right here in the pot with a little bit of water. About, I don't know, probably about a cup of water. And then, uh, and then we'll cook it. Okay, so I'm going to turn this on medium. And I'll put a lid on it. There we go. And we'll come back uh, when it's done. All right, guys. Well, the trout's just about done, and I'm gonna put a little, a little bit of this uh, cattail pollen uh, in with it. Uh, not a ton, but put in about a tablespoon anyway. Put right in there. Mix it up. All right, guys. Well, the fish is done cooking. Get my bowl. I think it'll fit in here. And uh, pour this soup right in the bowl. There we go. There we go. The cool thing about trout is it's similar to salmon in that it's got lots of omega-3s. Uh, it's got vitamin B6 and B12 and a good source of protein. So it's going to be good. doesn't have a ton of calories, um, but that's okay. It's got lots of other stuff. But this is my main course here. Mm. Super tasty. And I put some of that um, 
cattail pollen in here. It doesn't have much of a flavor, but it's got vitamins in it, so I'm gonna probably put it in everything. And there's the eyeball, one of my favorite parts. I like boiling the fish too because uh, you get all the meat. I mean, there's pretty much nothing on on there. And I don't mind the skin. I actually, I actually like the skin. Mm. Man. That right there is good. Oh man. By far, that is a superior fish to the crappie, in my opinion. Drink some of the broth. Yeah, boy, you can almost just shake the meat off of it. So it's really easy to clean. If I fry these in a frying pan, I also like to fry the tail and eat it. It's almost like a potato chip. In a survival situation, a fish of this size, um, it would be better to just eat the whole fish right then and there. Your body will get more out of it than if you were to say cut that fish in half or something or fillet it and save one fillet for tomorrow because really your body needs all of that so um and so it'd be better just to eat all of it right now and the only way i would save fish and and preserve them for tomorrow or the next day or whatever um would be if i caught quite a few of them otherwise i if i catch two or three fish i'm eating them all that that day Just a little tidbit. Unless they're like real big fish, you know, if they're huge fish, then that's different. But a couple little, a couple little 10, 12, 13 inch trout, I mean, you get three of those, you're probably only getting maybe three or 400 calories anyway, so you need to eat all of it. Oh, I can't see her. There she is. She's probably rolling her eyeballs at me. Mm. Oh, yeah. And we'll drink the broth and get all that stuff. You can see the oils from the fish in the in the broth. I'll oh, bring the cameras down so you can see the oils from the fish. It's got lots of omega-3 fatty oils. I don't know if you can see those oils little tiny bits in there but yeah that's that all right guys well we've made it a week today was day seven one week of the bigfoot 30-day catch kill forage series so um we'll see what we can get tomorrow hopefully some more fish and uh, maybe a couple other things, see how much time I got tomorrow. All right, well, till tomorrow, this is Bigfoot. Go catch some fish, out.